oxygen in water is used for burning. The drinking water we use contains oxygen and hydrogen molecules which are used for burning or lighting a flame. Let us discuss in the following experiment about how the oxygen present in water helps in burning at times. Take a candle, a glass jar, a shallow tray and some water. Take the shallow tray and fix the candle in it. Fill water in the tray. Light the candle. Take a glass. Mark it into five equal parts. Invert the glass over the lighted candle. Observe what happens to the candle. What happens to the water in the tray? Why does water rise in the glass? Rising of the water level to mark 1 in the glass shows that one-fifth of the air in the glass is used up during burning. In this experiment, as we have closed the candle with a glass jar, the oxygen in the air inside the jar has been completely used and then the candle utilizes the oxygen present in the water for burning. As the oxygen present in the water has been used, the level of water increases. When the oxygen present in water is fully utilized, the candle stops burning as the oxygen from atmosphere cannot enter into the jar. Air is used for burning. The air is invisible and helps us in many ways in our daily life. It helps to burn things also. In the following experiment, let us discuss about the vital role of air in burning a flame. Take three candles, a small and a big glass jars. Fix the three candles on a table. and light them. Cover the second and third candles with a small and big glass jars. Observe and record. How many seconds it takes for each candle to go out. It is observed that the candle covered with a small jar goes out earlier than the candle covered with a big jar because of the more air present inside it. Also, we can note that the candle left uncovered goes on burning due to the air in the atmosphere. This shows that the flame needs air to burn. Air exerts pressure. Air acts on everything and presses in all directions. If you squeeze an empty plastic bottle and then release it, the bottle will regain its shape. This is because air enters the bottle and pushes the sides out again. If you squeeze the bottle and then place the cap on, the bottle will not take up its original shape. This is because the air outside the bottle is pressing the sides in. Air presses on our body too. Our body does not get crushed due to air because the body too contains air. The following two experiments will show how air exerts pressure on everything. Take a glass, a board and water. Over the empty glass top, press the paper down firmly 
and turn the glass over and remove your hand. The paper goes down. Now take some water. Fill the water in the glass right up to the brim. Slide a stiff piece of paper over the top and press the paper down firmly. Now turn the glass over and remove your hand. You will be surprised that the water and the paper do not fall down. It is because air from below is exerting pressure and this pressure is supporting the paper in position. Air has weight. Air is in gaseous state which cannot be seen by naked eye. But during rainy season or when cyclone takes place, it has the capacity to destroy plants, even big trees and houses. If the invisible air has such a property, then we can conclude that air has weight. Let us see the experiment based on this principle. Take two balloons, a stick and a thread. First, inflate the two balloons of the same size with air, tie them and check with a weight machine. Now, tie the balloons to the end of a stick. Tie a string to the middle of the stick and see that the balloons are balanced. This is because the weight on either end of the stick is equal and the stick is balanced. Now, take a sharp needle and prick one of the balloons near its neck. Air escapes through the spin hole slowly. You will see that the balloon on the other end slowly brings the scale down at its end. This shows that the balloon with air in it is heavier and hence the scale tilts. This experiment proves that air has weight. Air occupies space. All the means of transport we watch in our daily life balance on the air pressure of the tubes present in the tire. Once the tire gets punctured, the vehicle loses its balance since the air escapes due to the puncture in the tube. Let us discuss the above principle in the following experiment. Air is used to inflate rubber tubes, balloons, and other objects as it can be squeezed into smaller spaces. We say it can be compressed. Compressed air exerts a greater pressure. Tires filled with extra air can support bicycles, cars and even aircrafts. The air pressure in the tire makes it behave like a cushion and we do not feel the bumps on the road. In the same way, the air pressure in the basketballs and footballs keeps the balls hard and makes them tight so that they can bounce. All the above examples show that air occupies space. Natural dye Nowadays, nearly all dyes are made synthetically, but in the past, most of these were made from plants like leaves, woods, flowers, sand and stones, etc. Let us dye a handkerchief with a natural dye. Take a red color flower, a handkerchief, a paper board, a pencil and a cutter. 
on the paperboard draw the design of your choice and cut the design with the help of a cutter remove the inner part of the board and then take the red color flower and pick the red petals separately put them in a piece of cloth and fold them and crush them well put this cut out design over the handkerchief and dab the handkerchief with a cloth bag containing the crushed flowers the dye transfers to the handkerchief and makes the shape already cut out we can do the same thing for making different designs the designs are made from natural dye these dyes are made in industries etc.